remember when a Twitch streamer didn't have to go to the extremes to say a lot of out of line shit? Well, I do remember. I remember when a Twitch streamer didn't say I'm a little child predator as a joke or even as a sus shit. This guy, however, whose name is Hydra Season, deserved to lose Twitch for this particular reason. Watch. Fucking retard. Oh my god. Let me start. No, I like kids. Oh, I swear to god, I do. All my life, I'm a little child predator. What, bro? I really don't know why would Hydra Season say this. Why would you say that I'm a little child predator? Why? Why would you ever say shit like that? That could possibly ruin your Twitch career. Oh, and this clicks guy who Hydra Season started to tweet about was defending Hydra Season for for making a double standard as to what people in his own circuit say, which is really, really justifying Hydra Season's behavior and making it making things really worse. Do you hear about Hydra? The thing is, bro. Every single fucking Fortnite streamer, not including me, obviously, says wow, what fucking, like, Hydra says. Yeah, you got a, you got a fun fun? And, like, even Yoxing, the person Dude, who tweeted what? that and canceled like, him, says that shit on the regular. That's what, that's why it makes me mad. You know what I'm saying? I can't yeah. fucking stand the yeah. ironic, 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 and, like, how yeah. are, like, Yoxing's gonna tweet that, but Yoxing yeah, is a known... <sighs> Child predator. The hydro clip is just like heavily out of pocket. Like it's just like, what is the point of that? Yeah, for sure, he's but I don't think he's any, like there's no like I don't believe in that cancel shit. It's like all right, bro. Like you're not gonna get fucking canceled. People are shouldn't like not people who didn't already watch you are just not gonna fuck with you. Just because every single Fortnite streamer says the most sussiest shit that. Hydra Season says, doesn't mean under any circumstances that you should justify it by letting your community lose their Twitch careers, saying that they are a child predator. Even if your stupid mod, Yoxix, who's one of the most transphobic people on Twitter right now, who says that he is one as well that still doesn't just justify his behavior too and instead of defending hydra season in general by calling out the double standards as to what your stupid mod on twitch did on the regular you have a responsibility to call out your community for doing things that they shouldn't be doing. If your community, especially people like yourself, clicks, is trying to at least actually grow their career into a professional one, like you're doing right now, you have a moral responsibility to not fuck up. And if you say something that really shouldn't be saying said on the internet at all you should think before you blurt it out all because you are losing in a fucking video game you really shouldn't say this out of the blue just because you lost a match all you should have done is start grunting and say gg's that really should have been it not the child predator part that's just weird what the fuck? All my hard work. I'm done, man. 
I'm so not. All cause some guy has a bandana against me. I wanna quit. Nothing goes my way. I mean, hey, that's what you get for putting you or someone else at risk. This includes content that could encourage inappropriate attention towards people under 18. Like, you really should have been reading the community guidelines on Twitch more often. Twitch streamers like Hide Our Season don't bother to read things as serious as it is. This is one of those reasons why people are so careless when it comes to their Twitch accounts or YouTube accounts for that matter. If you really want to do whatever you want, you cannot do whatever you want that actually breaks the Twitch rules of any kind. Like Hydra Season should have known better. He, of all people, should have just read what's there and not have to go through with saying the most out of line shit you can think of. My career, my dream, everything I worked for my whole life, just gone. Yeah, yeah, boo hoo, woe is me, blah, blah, blah. You know what you did was wrong and you deserved it. And then Hydra Season cries about getting a warning because he thought that, oh, I got three strikes already. So he says, wow, it's over. Without actually having to read what was said on his email that Twitch sent to him when he made an appeal. He goes on to say, oh wait, this is for the warning. Thank God, we still waiting on the ban. Like, come on, dude. You have to be able to read things before you freak out blindly without knowing. And then Hydra Season goes out of his way to make a dumb tweet by not taking accountability for his own actions. In the first part of his tweet, he says that he acknowledges for making a dumb joke, so he deserves the hate. But then he goes on in the second part to say, but if Twitch banned me for this, they might as well ban literally thousands of other streamers. Which sounds like to me is him not taking accountability for his own actions. Because if you say that you deserve the hate for making a dumb joke and that you don't deserve an indefinite ban, which you do, and you tell Twitch to unban you, then you're not really facing the consequences of your actions. So when he goes out of his way to tweet, just open Twitter before I was about to sleep. Many people are saying I wasn't taking accountability. I fully am. I, what I said was a stupid factor, shock factor joke. Uh, it wasn't a shock factor joke at all. This joke is not for shock factor. Like you don't say, I'm a little child predator as a joke. You say I'm a little child predator as a statement. It wasn't funny. I wasn't trying to go viral. Uh, you're already a bit late for that. My tweet was meant to talk about how unfair the Twitch ban was. Well, it wasn't. It was about you deflecting blame on thousands of other streamers, like clicks and other streamers that are not Fortnite players. You deflected the blame on them instead of on yourself. And the only way you're going to actually take accountability, and by taking accountability, I mean fully taking accountability, is to own up to it. But for you to then tweet out hashtag free Hydra again for the second time, it shows that you are not willing to take accountability for your actions and that you're just trolling at this point. If you really want to take this seriously, you cannot tweet out hashtag free Hydra when you say you own up to your mistakes, but then you don't own up to your mistakes by tweeting out the opposite of that. For most of the comments I've seen on this platform, 
They all said that you don't deserve an unban at all. Like, they all said that you should own up to your mistakes and that you totally deserve it. Because it's not funny to really be joking about being a child predator. You still haven't apologized either. Like, this is gonna haunt you until you apologize. And you have to deal with the consequences of your actions, whether you like it or not. At the end of the day, when it comes to Twitch enforcing their rules the way it's intended, then they gotta do what they gotta do to enforce it. And they are not in the wrong here. I mean, seriously, this guy here is giving you a wake-up call, and he says, you not understanding that there is nothing wrong about your statement that is remotely close to a joke where you are lacking in accountability. The safety of kids when you are playing a game of kids leaves zero room for what you can call a joke. Accountability is you admitting that you deserve to ban and actually work to prove you are better than what you did. Using other people getting away with it to legitimize being unbanned is not being accountable at all. And I agree 100% with a thousand percent because you really should do better by not deflecting blame on other people. And by deflecting blame on other people because of Twitch's double standards is not really something that should go in your favor when it comes to you breaking the Twitch TOS for reasons. As to why you did what you did was wrong. And if it's an indefinite ban, then you should accept it instead of crying over your Twitch account for no reason because you knew you broke the Twitch TOS. Saying something that you claim to be a joke, which is not, shouldn't be said in the first place. Please read the rules before you fuck up on the platform. Sorry about Twitch. Yeah. That sucks. They haven't responded to my appeal, and I don't think they will, to be honest. And if they do, it's probably a perm ban, so. Which is bullshit, but, you know. You what can you do? It was my fault, so. <sighs> yeah. Okay, first and foremost, it is your fault, so yeah, you admit that. And also, the Twitch ban wasn't bullshit, it was justified, it was smart. I might just, uh... I mean, yeah, but like, Twitch didn't, nah, Twitch didn't deserve to perm ban me, this is bullshit. Me getting perm banned is full bullshit. Because if they perm ban me, they might as well perm ban half their fucking platform, bro. Like, what? Well, that shit's so stupid. It's just stupid. And then I got people telling me, like, I didn't own up to my mistake. Like, I didn't immediately say it was my fault. Like, what? Well, but I'm gonna also call out Twitch for bullshit. Like, what? Well. You can't just say that it's your fault and then say that you are gonna call out Twitch for bullshit. That's not how taking accountability works. Like, if they're gonna ban me, you might as well go ban Bucky, Lacey, Clicks, like what? Also, again, you cannot deflect blame onto others. This is a you problem. This is not a them problem. Because what did these other guys do? Hmm? Did they also break rules like this that encourages inappropriate attention towards people under 18 year years old? No. No, they did not. I just went live. But I did a stream yesterday of 200 viewers. I got 200 viewers off Nodi and average 200. But it was just so boring, bro. It's boring. I can't play with any of my friends. Like, 
I saw Clicks doing Among Us the other night, and I could even like get in that because Pilot was playing and Webster was. I could have got in that. Like that could have been fun. Mari was looking at people to play with today because she had no one about like an hour ago, and I could even be like, "Hey, let's play." She had no one to play with. She was looking for like thirty minutes, and I could have been playing with duos. And like, I can't play with any of my friends. Like, it's not just that; it's the fact that like I don't know, like, like I'm sorry. Like, I know what I said was weird or whatever, but like. I even opened Bucky's stream and he was talking about how like he said way worse and like if anyone ever said clipped his stream he would have fucking gone to prison with that dumb shit he says. And I know I'm not as big as him, but it's just so dumb that Yas has a full vendetta against me that he's ruined my whole life. Oh boo hoo hoo. Like I'm sorry if you couldn't play League of Friends because Kick is so boring and that you were banned so you couldn't play with anyone. Otherwise their Twitch accounts might get banned. But that's what happens when you face the content, the consequences of your actions, and you cannot escape it. I'll make money, Lacey, probably more than I ever will on Twitch. Not ever, but like probably more than I'll ever make on Twitch. It's just boring, dude. It's just kick sucks. Are you really banned on Twitch? Yeah. How long are you banned on Twitch? Permanently. You think even without ads? Yeah, with the 95-5 split, the fact that I got 200 viewers off Nodi, like, and Twitch has a recommended. I'll be one of the fastest growing Fortnite streamers, and I guarantee you I average a K viewers within a few months. And it's not even an ego way, it's just the fact that there's no competition. Lacey, imagine if you went on kick and you could do whatever the fuck you want, and there's no competition. With Fortnite, there's no competition. Who Who's competing? Nobody. There's nobody better streamer than me on, on kick. On Twitch, there is. You're a better streamer than me. Bucky's a better streamer than me. There's a lot of people better than me. On Twitch though, out of Fortnite streamers, I was probably one of the most funny people. I was probably one of the better streamers of all I've ever. That's why I averaged 100 plus viewers. That's why I was growing so fast because I knew what I was doing and I was funny. I played with e-girls. I made it content and no one's ever done. No one's ever done e-girl. Like the only people who've done e-girl content is you and Bucky and Clicks, and I was doing it. Plus, on top of that, I'm good at the game. Like it's just like so free. I was growing so fast. Why well, I love it three? Because I'm. Bored. If you're bored and you're playing a video game at 3 o'clock, then that's a big red flag. Now you're weird? Bro, the joke was weird. I'll agree with that. But I, as a person, I'm not a weirdo. I'm not a creep. I'm not anything. Like, you can't go and, like, throw around the word that I'm, like, some, like, absolute, like, mentally ill asylum. Like, what? You can't do that. And you can't go around saying that I'm a little child predator as a weird joke because it's not a joke it's a statement that you made so why did you say it because someone in my chat said it so i just read it out loud after i died for shock factor it was in my brain so i said it like it wasn't anything deep no comedian that we know since we were kids would ever say anything like that for shock value also maybe don't actually read the chat messages of what someone said in your stream chat out loud. Keep that thought to yourself and don't ruin your Twitch career. I mean, saying that's wild. I mean, if you watch Bucky or any people like that, you know people have said way worse. So if you're blaming me, you might as well take accountability and blame everyone else. If Twitch wants to ban me, they might as well ban freaking after platform. No one commented that. I'm reading the TikTok chat. I'm reading. What do you mean about making shit up? There's so many different clips of you saying shit like that. No, there isn't. There's like one, maybe two. He's right that there is about one or two clips of him saying something like that. Even if he claims that Bucky or whoever else says the word child and then, and then the word predator. That doesn't mean that they have to say it as a joke. I actually love tweeting and making people mad. It's just the funniest thing of all time. Like I could tweet whatever the fuck I want and it just pisses people off. Like, I, like it's so funny to me. If you think that it's funny to you that you said these words on stream, so you tweet about the words that you're defending, then you're an idiot. You could potentially lose your Twitch career like that.
fuck Twitch. I mean, it's a valid ban, but it's not like I deserve a perma. I don't deserve a perma, bro. They're so dumb. Like, if I deserve a perma, then Lacey, Clicks, like, basically, like, all of Twitch's big streamers are just gone. This, by the way, is from his second kick stream, two hour secret stream, so I can get affiliate. Now, we can all agree about Twitch's double standards when it comes to them banning people, but you literally got an indefinite ban for encouraging inappropriate attention towards a minor who's under the age of 18. There's no way getting out of this. There is. I love all these people that are canceling me, like, they'll cancel me and then they'll go in my DMs and tell me to kill myself. It's like, how are you any better than how I was? I saw it, Clay. Well, you did say that you deserve the hate for making a dumb joke. So ultimately, this is what you get when you do this kind of stuff. People are always going to send you hate comments, and you know that. <sighs> Bro, real fans know it's a joke, people actually watch you. I mean, like, anyone with a brain knows who's a joke. Like, if you sit there and think, oh, damn, this guy's being serious, you're generally stupid, but... Let me fucking tell you this from real world perspective. Anyone with a fucking brain and a higher IQ of 100 would know that saying this. No, I like kids. Well, I swear to God, I do. All my life, I'm a little child predator. What, bro? Is not a fucking joke. Nobody in your lifetime says this shit in real life. Not even on the internet. Let me, so like, when I first saw the tweet, I was annoyed as fuck. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? Why is Bo trying to cancel me over like some dumb joke? And I was like, pissed off. And I was like, what's wrong with this kid? And then I didn't get banned on Twitch. No one, none of my family found out about it or anything. So I was like, okay, who really cares? Like I got more viewers off of it. Like, what I said was dumb, but there's no point of sitting there apologizing over some dumb shit. And then I woke up the next day to Drama Alert tweeting it, Dexterito tweeting it, and then all my friends were telling me I'm getting kicked out of college and shit, and I was like, fuck. I was kind of worried, but at the same time, I wasn't banned on Twitch, so I didn't really care. And then my family started finding out about it, and I was like, oh shit. But they were like, cool about it, and I was like, alright. And then it got ten times worse. When I got when I woke up at 3 p.m. to a I'm banned on Twitch. Yes, what you said was dumb, but quite frankly, not apologizing can also make it worse for you, because it means that you're the type of person who doesn't give a fuck about accountability. And just because your family was cool about it doesn't make it right. Look, at the end of the day, life has has consequences for a good reason and if you want to work with future sponsors who would sponsor you then you gotta have a clean record and no controversies you're lucky that this is probably your first one ever but the next time you make more controversies you probably won't get into any of these brand deals so take your gaming streaming career seriously and don't say anything that can be cancelable for you. I do hope Twitch keeps you banned.